so this is uh, take two because Mark decided to uh, mess it up. Um, I am Rob from... It was a technical issue. He says it was a technical issue. It sure was a it lack is. of beer issue. Uh, I'm Rob, pretending to be from Moshville Times, and I'm here with Leatherback. Uh, I was, I'm going to have to ask you again now. Are yeah, you yeah. okay? Um, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, good. How, how did you find the stage on there? Uh, it's always good up here. Uh, the stage is great, um, and the sound system is really wicked as well. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a fun venue to play, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, um, yeah. It sort of feels like a bit more of a go out with your mates, watch a few bands kind of vibe yeah, that I, yeah. I get from here. And um, yeah, to have you guys, you step in last minute. I nearly said you guys, you know, this is, I'm not used to one man bands. You guy. You guy. Yeah. Hey, you guy. <laughs> you know? I know, the, you can't see, Mark just pulled a face like, hey, babes. <laughs> so, um, how did uh, you come up with this idea for Leatherback? Oh, well, it, a lot of it was um, just wanting to write whatever I wanted and whatever I felt like writing. Um, I've always been in bands that have kind of been part of a genre and just wanting to do whatever the hell I wanted whenever I wanted. I listen to a lot of music, but a lot of it is Nine Inch Nails, um, various industrial people. Um, Definitely got that vibe. Which is where a lot of it comes from. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where the, the majority of the taste comes from, but I like chucking whatever I want in. It's kind of complete freedom. So, I mean, it was a very intense set, as, uh, as we were saying um, mm -hmm. on the previous recording, that Mark did not ruin <laughs> at all. <laughs> he's hating me now. I can, he's just swearing at me behind the camera. Yeah, there you go. You see, there's the middle finger. <laughs> and amazingly, your makeup stayed pretty well. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you use to uh, keep your makeup on? Uh, the sheer force of will. <laughs> um, and the memories of a thousand lifetimes. I mean, that's, that's, that's a good answer. Mm. So um, you started going out on gigs a lot more. What, what gigs have you got coming up? Um, so I've got Metal to the Masses. It's a promo, North Wales. I'm playing the first tee, I think it is, on the 25th. 25th of yeah, you see, we've got this down yeah. here, so we can actually read it. On well, the 25th of March, I'm told. Uh, are yep. you on the same yeah. show? Uh, we're not on the same show on this one. No, um, we're not. You've got, uh, you've got Zebedee. Yep. Uh, you've got uh, Psycho Circuit and and Bogans, Bogans. 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 on your on your first one. Nice, yep. So it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's a cracking lineup on the yeah. The, the, the whole masses. thing is a cracking lineup. Uh, it's, 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 I I love playing the Metal to Masses in North Wales. It's 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 great. Um, so have you got any other gigs apart from this? Because you were supposed to play down in my yeah, hometown. You guys are heartbroken about that. Uh, we are. <laughs> we're genuinely heartbroken that you you got you weren't playing. Uh, are you oh. looking at coming back anytime as they rearranged it or uh, we've, nothing's on the books yet for Northwich um, but I am playing in Manchester on the 12th of March for Loser Palooza that is the day before my birthday as well exactly actually. so that, that could be fun I'll yeah. go and get very drunk on that yeah definitely and it doesn't sound like me at all I don't drink <laughs> uh, <laughs> ne never absolutely never so yeah. also today um, you said this was the first time that uh, you'd done vocals live yeah so, what made you think that I'm going to add vocals into it? Um, well, my latest track, In Perpetuity, available on Bandcamp. Is it um, on Spotify as well? It's not yet, no. Why not? Because Spotify doesn't pay artists very well for their music, whereas Bandcamp is a lot more supportive. Are you going to be sending an MP3 into me at Mushroom Radio so you can play on the radio? No, you mentioned it absolutely, yes. Definitely, yeah. There we go, Moshville Radio. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, actually. Don't, I'm never going to do that again. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dab me. <laughs> um, but it's, spot, it's available on Bandcamp. Um, and that, it was kind of, when I was writing it, I just felt like it needed something. It needed some vocals. Um, so, like, the whole thing of it is just being complete creative freedom. I ch chucked it in. That is the joy of just being you, because you can do exactly what you want to do. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to do this this style, I want the song to sound like this, and you don't have anyone else going, yeah, but why didn't you add this? You can just go, ah, it's mine. Yeah, I mean, it's incredibly, like, incredibly self-indulgent and uh, all ego, but, <laughs> you know, one day I will implode on myself and become part of the universe, so... <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that, to be honest. <laughs> May as well live it up while I can. So, I mean, that's we, we're going back to the, sort of your, in, your intense stage show that you have. Yeah. Um, we've noticed, obviously, you get up, you're in a suit. Mm -hmm. Well, with skinny jeans. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> and you've got a bit of, bit of makeup. What, what made you decide to take that approach rather than, say, something different? You know, more industrial, you know, the PVC seems to be quite strong in that scene. Um, Apart from it's different. I don't know, I could come up with some kind of bullshit about 
some deeper meaning, but I always wanted to be a blues brother. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like, there we go. So we got, uh, the, we got one of the blues yeah. brothers here. But, I mean, there's. Uh, PVC's quite sweaty, you know. PVC's well sweaty, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't. Well, I, no, uh, <laughs> I don't look good in PVC, though, you know. Just, have you tried it? I can't say I have. Did you have stilettos on as well? You can't prove that. I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> I mean, I've seen the pictures. <laughs> what pictures? There aren't any. It's all right. As we heard earlier, unsolicited dick pics. In this case, it was unsolicited PVC pics. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm be, I'll, I have been told to be saying. Okay. So, uh, when, whenever you play a show, what's the what's the weirdest thing that's happened to you? What's the weirdest thing? That's yeah, happened weirdest to thing you? that either you've done on stage or the crowd's done, or just a really random story. Um, I mean, there's been time. There's a venue I played in Liverpool a couple of times called um, Bur- it's an Evil Eye Burrito Bar. It's a burrito bar. It's wicked. There's some amazing vegan like burritos. Um, and yeah, just like having people sat there eating burritos while I'm watching. Once I want to play and doing like that. <laughs> yeah. um, once I was playing in G21 in Chester. Yep. And just some two dudes that were obviously on a night out had, were having a great time. Um, they just came in. I think I was sporting in depth at the time. They came in. Loving it, and then they, one of them got way too into it and just booted my keyboard into me. <laughs> it, was hey, great. it was someone else for a change. It wasn't you booting your yeah, own yeah, keyboard because it survived tonight. I had to tell him off. I was like, mate, that comes later. Yeah, I've got a rest of the set today. <laughs> uh, and then not with this band, but not with Leatherback, but a previous band of mine. I once played a show outside a home base. Like in, oh, the car by, in the car park outside a home base. Sorry, what was your previous band? I, this is this is uh, you know off off the record. I genuinely don't yeah, know what your um, previous band was. So I, I'm in a couple of bands. Got a couple of things on the go. Um, but I grew up in like not around Norwich. And okay. Me and my mate of mine had a garage rock band called the Bad Apples, and uh, we did that for like a good five or six years. And to be fair, we never officially split up, so we're technically still going. <laughs> Fair enough. So if, if people watching uh, Marshville want to check you out, they can, I, I mean, I know this because I've got you on all these social medias. Check you out on Facebook. Yep. You've got that. You've got uh, Instagram, because follow yep. me on Instagram yep. as well. I know you're on Spotify. Yep. Uh, you're on Bandcamp, as you mentioned. Are yep. you on Twitter? Uh, yes, but very rarely. Ah, okay. No. So, Tinder? Tinder? No. <laughs> no? Grinder? Miss, missed that one. No, I missed that one too. Ah, okay. Well, uh, you know, it's worth a try. Yeah. Um, so, it's out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would swipe right any day. Oh, yeah. um, so, I've got one, one last question for you, because we've asked every band so far. And uh, it's, it's the most important question with everything that's going on at the moment. Yeah. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Absolute. Oh, I don't know. I've had some very strong opinions about that last time I was asked, but I'm not that asked anymore. But fuck it. Why not? Yeah. Yes. So, so f- that is every band that we've interviewed so far has said yes. Every single member. I, mean, I, I, I don't care what you do with your... Yeah, exactly. Fuck the haters. If you want pineapple on your pizza, fuck it, do it. If you want chocolate on your pizza, I don't care, do it. I've seen those dessert pizzas. I'm, yeah, I'm not want, sure where I stand on dessert yeah, pizzas. But, Brick dust on your pizza. <laughs> I really don't care. No dessert. Oh. I mean, when you when you smear the chocolate over it, it does look like you know a, a run a very runny poo. But <laughs> so um anyway, uh, I've been Rob pretending to be from Marshville Times. This has been Leatherback. Check him out at Leatherback World. Pretty much everywhere. And we'll uh, we'll catch you soon. <laughs>